The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past was released in North America in early 1992, over 30 years ago, and is widely considered one of the best games ever made. In any other series, it would be the crown jewel, but in the Zelda franchise, it's only in the conversation for the best game with titles like Ocarina of Time, Breath of the Wild, and now Tears of the Kingdom. With Nintendo constantly remaking, remastering, or porting their iconic games to new systems, the question is, why Link to the Past, who would do it, and when could we possibly see it? Since its release, Link to the Past has received numerous ports and remasters, but it has never gotten the full remake treatment like Link's Awakening did in 2019. It is also in contention for the best game of all time, with a review average of around 95. Most importantly, since it's over 30 years old, it would appeal to both people that have never played it before and those that do have fond memories of it. It also doesn't hurt that the Switch has such a large install base as well, with over 125 million units sold and counting. Grezzo makes the most sense to handle a Link to the Past remake as they have a very strong history working with Nintendo. Since 2010, on five different occasions, Grezzo have helped develop, port, or remake a title in the Zelda series with the most successful and most impressive being Link's Awakening that was released in 2019. It showed their ability to reinvent the game without losing the core essence that made it special in the first place. Looking at the studio's recent work, they released Link's Awakening in September of 2019, then in 2021 they did the Switch port of Miitopia, and they also just released Jet Dragon for Apple Arcade. However, looking at Jet Dragon, it doesn't look like it would require nearly the whole studio, which is around 100 people. Breath of the Wild came out in March 2017, Link's Awakening came out in 2019, Skyward Sword HD came out in 2021, and Tears of the Kingdom came out in 2023. When you look at Grezzo's size, development history, and then you cross-reference that with the release cadence that we have seen for the Zelda series on the Switch, it seems likely that we will get a classic Zelda with a modern touch by 2025 at the latest. If Link to the Past received the Link's Awakening treatment, I think it would spark the conversation again for the best Zelda of all time, between the usual suspects of Breath of the Wild, Ocarina of Time, and now Tears of the Kingdom. And with Nintendo constantly remaking, remastering, and porting their iconic games to new system, the question seems more likely to be when, and not if.